Hey, how's it going? Mr. Deadman here. Welcome to the channel. If you are a Love Bites fan, feel free to press the like button, subscribe, and look around. A lot of Love Bites stuff on this channel. We're talking bases, auditions. We're talking Aya. Who is she? Where does she come from? Would she be a good fit for Love Bites? Well, what do you think? Do you know of her? Let's see. First off, who is she? Well, let's talk about that. Put it on the screen here. Immediately, she looks like she would be a good fit. Just by looks alone, but uh, okay, let's get a little bit more. She she plays bass. She plays bass. She isn't like a model or an actress that plays bass, so you don't have to worry about her attention being uh, diverted. Uh, you don't have to worry about a modeling gig or an acting gig, kind of like taking her from, you know, distracting her interest or whatever. Um, she plays bass. Uh, she. You could see her stuff on her own YouTube channel. I believe she's played with other groups, it looks like. I'm not exactly sure. She says she's a currently free bassist, which makes it seem like she has. Um, now, she has um, on her on her website here, uh, when it comes to uh, discography, she doesn't really have much there. She has music videos of her own stuff. That's fine. Uh, so she is active. She's endorsed by Combat Guitars. Uh, okay. All right. I mean, okay. Very curious. Very curious. How does she sound? How does she sound? Well, let's take a look there. Uh, let's take a look at that. Um, for uh, Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at her channel real fast. So, yeah, she does play, and she uploads uh, covers. Nemophila. Nemophila. She's a fan of that. Oh, I'm also a fan of them. I like that. Uh, any covers of of Love Bites? Well, I see two Nimophila, so that's already a win for me. Lisa? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, she? Uh, okay. Uh, Love Bites, I'm not seeing here. But, okay, so how does she sound? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. She already looks the part, doesn't she? Okay. All right. Here we go. And it starts. Right, that was Aya uh, yeah, there. So, how does she sound? How does she look? Would she be a good fit? Aesthetics wise, she would be a great fit. Uh, she moves around very well when she plays. The, the bass tone uh, is not bad either. So, uh, tone wise, she would be a good fit too, um, m musically. Now, did you notice that she was using? A, it looks like she was using a pick. I mean, is is that? How important is that? How, how important is that? Uh, well, it depends on, on what sort of tone you want for the gallops. Okay? It depends. Um, so, is that going to be a, a factor there? But, you know, if it's not, then it's not. 
Uh, so she yeah, she looks the part. She has a good sound. She moves well when she plays. I mean, I think she would be a solid contender. I think she would. I think she would. Um, yeah. But I would be surprised. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, I should say, if they have someone else. I mean, someone else that they haven't revealed. I don't know. I don't know. But I think I think if it's between her, uh, Milan, and Itchy Nose, I would say it's... I would probably go with uh, not Aya, Aya. Uh, I'm gonna, I'd probably go with her. Okay. But what? What do you think of it? What do you think about that? Do you like that? Do you like her? Or would you go uh, itchy nose, blue itchy nose? Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys take it easy.